let's now answer this question before us. So it is VCAR 2019, uh, Northern Hemisphere, paper one, question eight. Sheep on the farm are also free to move between the four water sources. The change in the number of sheep at each water source from week to week is shown in the matrix T below. So if we just uh, examine a number here, for instance, this point two is telling me that if a sheep this week is in water source R, then 20% of those sheep in water source R will move to water source P next week. That's what it's saying. <clears throat> okay. In the long term, 635 sheep are expected to be at S each week. In the long term, the number of sheep expected to be at Q each week is closest to which of the following. First thing that we have to take note of here is the word in the long term. What's that is saying to us is find the steady state. So you need to get used to being able to recognize when the steady state is going to come up. And when they're using language like in the long term, that's a very good indication that we're after the steady state here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is recognize that they haven't given me in this question the initial state, have they? If they haven't given me the initial state, but they're asking me to find the steady state, what I know I can do is I can find the percentage at each of these water stations in the long term. So when they haven't given you the initial state, you can still find the percentage in the long term. So the percentage steady state uh, just with the transition matrix that they've given to you. So I'm going to take T and I'm going to raise it to the power of 50 and we'll see what we get out. So if I do that, if I take this, so I've already typed in my transition matrix here, I'm going to raise it to the power of 50. Let's see what happens. Okay, what we need to take note of here is the fact that, you know, this first row here is going to correspond to all the sheep at P. And as you can see, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, the amount of sheep in Q. So my next row, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, the amount of sheep in R, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, the amount of sheep in S, uh, 0 0.31, 0 0.31. Hopefully you can see, we know that we've hit the steady state here is because we have consistent numbers across uh, all the rows here. And what is this telling me? Well, if we come here for a moment, what this is telling me is, you know, this is S, right? This bottom row here. That means 30% of the sheep in the long term are at S. This is telling me this uh, 18, 18% of the sheep will be at R in the long term. 26% of sheep will be at Q in the long term. And 24% of sheep will be in P in the long term. This is what each of these are telling me. And obviously, if you were to add up all of these, you'd get to 100% of the sheep. So what they've told me is that in the long term, 635 sheep are expected to be at S. Well, we know that 31% of the sheep will be at S <clears throat> in the long term. So what I can do now is I can say, well, I know that for S, 600, or say, let me do this. I can go 0 0.313 times by the total amount of sheep is going to be 635. So 31.3% of the total amount of sheep will be 635 sheep. That's what they've told me here. So now I can use this to figure out the total amount of sheep. So to figure out the total amount of sheep, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go 635 divided by 0 0.313. Now, if that maths there kind of freaks you out a bit, you could just use your solve function here. You could go menu three, one, and you could just type in exactly what you see here, 0 0.313 times by some unknown, which we'll call X is equal to 635 <clears throat> comma x that's going to end up with 2028.75 so I'll round 2029 that is the total amount of sheep I'm going to have <clears throat> so in total I have 2209 sheep now if I'm after the number of sheep at Q what I need to do now to figure out the amount of sheep at Q I'm going to say well uh, if I come back to my transition matrix, I know that Q was my second row, right? 26% of the sheep are at Q. So what I need to do is say 0 0.260 times by the total amount. And we know that the total amount is 2029. So 26% of this 2029 is going to be what? So I'll come here. I'll type in 0 0.260 
two six times by two zero two nine is equal to and what I'm going to get here is five seven sorry five two seven five two seven point five four. Uh, it says closest to, so now I'm going to look all my options, 371, 493, 527, 607, 635. It's going to be C. That's what it's closest to there. So that's how you'd answer this question. Uh, if we now look at the examiner's report, unfortunately, because this is a um, <clears throat> Northern Hemisphere exam, it doesn't give us the percentage breakdown of who got what correct, but it still gives us, because this was a poorly answered question, a breakdown of how to answer it. So it says, raising the transition matrix to a high power shows the proportion of sheep at S. When it says proportion, that's referring to, you know, the percentage of each one. So by raising the transition matrix X to a high portion, you get the proportion or like the percentage of each sheep at S or oh, everywhere also in the long term is approximately 0.31296. You take that number, you times it by the total amount and you get 635, giving the total amount of sheep as 2029 <clears throat> to the nearest whole number. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing like crazy. The number expected at Q each week is going to be 0.26. So that number right there times by 2029, making option C the closest option. So that is how you answer that question there. Hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you didn't mind all my coughing. I'll see you later.